So is natural selection pushing us to be more racist, less racist, or maybe the situation is a little more complex than this? Hello agents, I'm Dino Carpentras and this is Social Complexity, a channel in which we discuss about simulations, complex systems and even video games. Everything that can help us understand better and make sense of our society and its complexity. So today we are going to see some simulations and actually comment on them, but something called ethnocentric behavior, which is a fancy way to say that you tend to help people like you and not help people that are not like you. The simplest example that comes to mind is racism, especially in its extended definition, where you have people that just think that white people are better and so they should help each other when not helping black people. Or maybe you have a country like Italy that says like Italians are better and so we should just try to help only Italians but not help immigrants. Or whatever situation that really looks like this. But that's a little too much for now so let's just jump into the simulation. Let's open up our beloved net logo and we are going to open the ethnocentrism simulation. So there we go. And let's just start and see how it looks like. Okay, that's better. So let's set up this thing and you see we have a tons of colors and shapes. And if you watch the video on uh, agent-based modeling, cellular automata and all this stuff, maybe you're familiar with this because actually this is really similar to a cellular automata simulation plus a tiny bit of game theory. But if you didn't watch any of this, don't worry. Pretty much here we have each one of this shape is actually a person and they may decide to help each other or maybe to cheat, like to not give anything to the other person. Eventually they can still receive from the other person without giving anything back. But we are not here to judge them, we are here to see what is the best strategy. Indeed, actually they can give and receive and they can help each other and depending on how much they receive is going to improve their probability of surviving and eventually reproducing. Indeed, here we will see that some of these shapes are going to reproduce themselves. So for example, close to an orange circle, actually we don't have orange, to a yellow circle we might have appearing another yellow circle and maybe even more yellow circles. So what is the shape and the color telling us? The color is telling us something like how they identify. For example, green might be white people, yellow could be Asians and red might be black people or i don't know they might be americans italians french and they can recognize that they belong to the same group or eventually to a different group so for example this red square really knows that this guy is not like him so it's not red but this guy is like him also this red circle is like them. So what is the shape telling us? Pretty much circles tend to share, they tend to help others. And I'm not gonna get into details with the squares, if you want here there are all the informations, but just focus on their circles for now because it's more interesting for us and I'm not going to overload you with too much information. So circles always help each other, but there is a difference between hollow circles and filled circles. So filled in circles cooperate with every color, so if they're red, they can cooperate both with red, blue, green, they don't care about anything, they're really, really nice, while empty circles cooperate only with the same color. So this filled in red will cooperate with everyone in the surrounding, so they will give to everyone, they don't care if they receive anything back, they will always give something. Well, this empty red circle here is going to cooperate only with this red and this other red because it is going to recognize that these are also red, so they're like him, and it's going to help them. But it's not going to help anyone else. So I'm going to remove eventually immigrants and also mutations because in the original simulations you can also have mutations and I'm just going to see what is the best strategy without mutations. And let's see what happens. So we see they tend to replicate and some survive, some other die. And let me speed this up a little. So let's see again. And there we are. So we have only hollow circles. And this is interesting because actually we have different colors 
but we have only group of people that help each other but they don't cooperate with the other one so from a really superficial point of view this looks like the best strategy is only to help your own group and not help other groups and this makes sense because for example if you have a full yellow circle here actually it can give to everyone surrounding him and is also receiving from everyone but unfortunately if this full circle is not at the center of a yellow group but is at the boundary then it's going to receive less than what is giving and this is because it's giving a lot to everyone but is not receiving much from everyone is receiving only from the people that are like him so i think this is enough for the simulation and i think it's better to try and dig a little more into what this means so here we are outside the simulation and let's start to understand something because some way it looks like the simulations is telling us something like racism is good which actually we know it is not and i think here we first need to differentiate two things so one is the moral aspect, and I think everyone can agree that racism is And the other thing would be it is naturally good. So some way like evolution is giving you some prize, is pushing you to be racist. And I know here a lot of people struggle because unfortunately we have a lot and lot of rhetorics that is saying that if something is natural then that's good and that's definitely wrong because actually you know what else is natural malaria you can have all kind of disease and natural disasters that are 100 percent natural the fact that something is natural doesn't mean it is good so really natural only means natural it doesn't mean good these are two totally separate concepts but then also, is the simulation telling us that actually if you are racist, you are gonna gain something? Is nature pushing you or giving you some prize for being racist? And from what we saw in the simulations, the answer is it actually depends. And it depends on the way that society is structured. Because now just think that you are part of a society of yellow circles and everyone is sharing with everyone but then you come up with a group of people like you and some friends and you are receiving from everyone but you are not sharing with other people you're sharing only with people from your own group in that case you're receiving a lot but you're not giving much to other people this means that your group is going to be richer and richer and at the expenses of the other so if you think that a group is coming to your country to your house to whatever and is going to take all the resources without giving anything back yeah this is something that is cost to the general group but what happens if they actually then start giving back to the group in that case it looks like even if you can have two different labels at the end it acts like a single group so to put it in terms of the simulations we saw before we saw that yellow circles were sharing only with yellow circles red circles were sharing only with the red circles but what if at a certain point they start sharing with each other so even if they notice that they have some differences they don't consider themselves two different groups or some incompatible groups but they share together maybe they share because they like or maybe they share because they are forced to share for example in many countries there is a thing called taxes that is something that is forcing you to share with the entire system so what we are seeing is that the situation is a little complex like if the situation is totally open totally wild everyone can do whatever they want then yes if you want to exploit the system you can and in that case it's better for you to just take as much as you can without giving anything back. Of course, this is not morally correct, I think in pretty much every moral system, but if you don't care about ethics, then it's fine. But this is not the case for most of the society because most societies push you to share with everyone else. And we are strongly encouraged to do this because in most of the countries, if you don't pay taxes, you go to jail. So at the end, should you consider only your group? Should you focus on your group and help only your group? And the answer is some way yes, but it depends on who you think your group is. Because maybe you can think only in terms of black and white, or you can think in terms of your nation, or your city, or your household, or your family. We can group people in many different ways and we can help each other and exploit our enemies. But at the end, what happens if we are really trying to push our society to be 
all together. Even if we have some differences, but we don't use them to generate groups. And we just try to help each other, no matter skin color, nationality, city, you name it. So I really hope this little journey into complexity was inspiring, was helpful, was meaningful. And I really hope to see you soon with another video. We have one video pretty much every Monday. And just remember to embrace the complexity of your life.